In Chaos Control Cloud, when processing a customer exchange where the outgoing items cost more than the items being returned, we first need to create the returns document, and we normally do this from the original sales order. In this sales order, we're going to select the item that the customer wants to return. We then go to the Actions button and create Customer Return Note. We'll then acknowledge the pop-up to confirm that we do want to create a return. Once the return document's been generated, we'll need to confirm the quantity of the item being returned and set a return reason. We can then go down to the lower grid in the document and add the product that the customer wants to take in exchange. In this case, the customer has selected a more expensive product. Once the exchange item has been added to the lower grid, we can then save the return. When we're ready to make the exchange, we go to the Actions button and select Process Return. We then confirm that we want to generate a credit note and an exchange note. By going to the Processing tab, we can see that a credit note and an exchange note have both been generated, but the credit note hasn't yet been issued and nor has it been allocated to the exchange note. The exchange note is effectively a new sales order for the item going out. We'll go back to the General tab in order to complete the next stage of the process. We can go to the Actions button and then issue the credit note. Going back to the Processing tab, we can see that the credit note has now been issued and is available to be allocated to the exchange note. We'll now go back to the General tab and use the Actions button to allocate the credit note to our exchange note. The pop-up is confirming that the credit note is being used as part payment against the item going out. By going back to the Processing tab, we can see now that the credit note has been allocated against the exchange note. Because a further payment is required from the customer, we need to use the Actions button to go to the exchange note. As mentioned before, the exchange note is effectively a new sales order for the item going out, so we need to go to the Payment tab and then go into Edit Mode to add a further payment line to take the extra payment. We click the New button to add a new line, and in this case we'll select the payment type as Check. We can now save our exchange note and by going back to the main tab, we can see that the order is now in staging, ready to be dispatched. All that remains to complete the process is to return to our customer return and use the Actions button to issue the return note. We can now use the Processing tab to confirm that the customer exchange has been fully processed.